Hurry up. Right Come on. Jody. Feed the ball. Feed the ball. That might hurt. I got his photo. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> You'd have caught him if you hadn't taken a dive. Hey, you should be congratulating your friend, not winding him up, yeah? Not many people step up like that. Get your name and number. Sure. The police will want to get in touch for that photo. Ashton Ridge? Yeah. We've had a few young people from there over the years. In case your care worker wants to get hold of me. Sergeant Major? Yeah, Nikki will do. Thank you. It's good to meet you all. Especially you, Johnny. See ya. He shoots and he scores. <laughs> I can't believe you tackled a mugger. I'd sort of done it before I'd even realised I was going to. That's really brave. No, he's really stupid. You could have been hurt. He did get hurt. What? I'll save you, miss. Oh, sorry, miss, I chipped over your dog. <laughs> <laughs> You've always got to be the centre of attention, haven't you? Uh, well, what can I say? You either got it, you don't. He's just having a laugh. Mo's right. You were really brave. Thanks. Billy! From the football club? They're giving you a second trial. <laughs> And this will give you an idea of the job opportunities. Thanks. So what did your care worker say when you said you were thinking about joining up? I haven't told him yet. I wanted to find out a bit more about it first. Oh, nothing wrong with a bit of forward planning, but it's good to talk it through with someone too. This is good for family and friends. Gives them an idea of what army life might be like. Do you have an envelope? I don't want everybody winding me up about it when I walk in with this lot. There's something we can help you with. Self-confidence. I am confident. There you go. Thank you. Now, you give me a ring or pop in if there's anything that you want to ask. Yeah. And try some of those tests that I showed you on the website. Yeah, I'm going to do them as soon as I get back. Just take your time, Johnny. Signing up, that's a life changer. You don't want to rush a decision as big as that. Maylee! It came with the post. Will you take me? Oh, you can't afford it. I could if you gave me advance my allowance. I'm sorry. That's going to be too much money. Oh, but please, Maylee. Get the Dave's awesome. Yeah, for that amount of money, I want to see Iron Man wrestle the Incredible Hulk. What are you after? What makes you think I'm after anything? Because I know you didn't come in here to escort me down to lunch. I was wondering if I could borrow your laptop. Why? I'll pay you. That doesn't answer my question. I want to do something on it that I don't want to do downstairs. And um, that is? Army interview practice test. Oh, are you thinking of joining up? What do you reckon? Well, it could be really amazing. Aren't you a bit young, though? Not to apply, but 
I need to be 16 before I can start training. That's why I wanted to do the tests. See if I was any good. Yeah. Here. And you won't tell T or the others. <laughs> Thanks. Who do you think will win? Death or Dave or the Screamer? Oh, I was a big fan of Giant Haystacks and Big Daddy in the day, but I'm a bit out of the loop with modern wrestlers. Death of Dave's the best. Is he? Mm. Yeah. Especially with sleeper grip. He grabs you like this I... and then he pulls right. you back the nose. I... Thank you. <laughs> That's not how he does it. No. Nope. You'd see if you took me to the grapple thing. I would. Except I already know that Maylee said you can't go. It's too hard. All of it? No, the teamwork. Two planks, eight recruits, one jerry can. No touching the ground. Uh, what's a jerry can? It's for carrying water. Um, yeah, one of my mates sent me a puzzle. Reckons I can't do it. I am. Um, I think he was right. Yeah, I can do it. Not on your own, but I bet you could help. So what we've got to do is get to the other side. We're back. But I'm testing it first. If any of us do, we've got to start again. Yeah, easy. We use the longest plant to get from box to box, then move the plant to get to the next box. If it was as simple as that, don't you think I would have cracked it? Only two people on one plank or box at a time. Well, can't we get on with it instead of standing around here talking about it? If that's a mouse, I haven't got any cheese. To me? I'm sulking because Millie won't let us go to the wrestling. Well, then make her do wrestling here. I could be Death Head Dave. Who do you want to be? Someone who doesn't wrestle. Well, I'm going to need a bow tie. And another wrestler. Yes. Come on, Johnny. That's great. That's it. Really great. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Yeah. A good little hop over here. Yeah. 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 Lower it down. Okay. Come on. Go away. Let go down. Go away. 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 Jack, come in and make yourself comfortable. I'll go and get Johnny. Uh, can I have a word first? Oh, sure. Is it about the mugging? Liam. Oh. He's doing my head in. Oh, well, I know that feeling. He keeps bunking off college and handing his coursework in late, if he does it at all. What's he studying? Plumbing. I've got a mate who's a lecturer. I pulled a few strings to get him in. I can't quite picture Liam in overalls fixing someone's kitchen sink. I nor can he. That's the problem. But we can't all be rock stars, can we? Any ideas? Hurry up! Right, come and put that plank on yeah, that I side. I am trying, but you need to move out the way. Put so it down now. Right. Come, come and... Yeah. Out the way, sure. Oi, Bailey! Ow! Sorry, are you OK? I've had enough of this. Let's go. Where are you going? It's getting boring, Johnny. If you listened to what I said, we could have done it. Why would anyone want to listen to you? Hmm? Johnny, you remember D.S. O'Donovan? You Liam's brother, Jack. How's he doing? Great, thanks. Hey, that was very quick thinking of you getting a photo this morning. Want to tell me what happened? Yeah, um, we were playing French cricket out the front and I heard this terrible scream. So I ran out to see what was going on. And I saw this guy, he was trying to grab a lady's handbag. So I ran over yelling like, oh, stop, but he wouldn't. So I shoved him over, but then when I went to grab him, he got away. I've got his photo here, actually. You said when I went to grab him? Yeah. You shouldn't have tried to restrain him. The lady helped. She was a sergeant major, she knew what she was doing. But you didn't know that at the time. Don't take risks, you could have got hurt. Well, you can't let thugs like that get away with it. And it's my job to see that they don't. <laughs> Thanks, 
Thanks for coming around, Jack. Good to see you. Jack, is Liam all right? Oh, yeah, he's fine. Jack's here about the mugging. Hey, Frank. What happened? You went off my cooking. <laughs> something like that. Well, you should come over sometime. I'll get Liam to fix something up. Look, if Liam wanted to see me, he'd have done it by now. What? Are you okay? Couldn't find you. I was in the office, getting my third telling off of the day. Fourth if I count yours this morning. What did I do? Telling me I was stupid in front of everyone for stopping that mugger. Well, I was worried about you. Is this about us not being able to do that game? It wasn't a game. I wish everyone would stop treating me like a kid. Do you think the muggins got you? It was chaos. I mean, we were at it for ages. Nobody was listening to anyone else. And everyone was just shouting over each other. And Jodie hurt her wrist and everyone just gave up. It sounds as though you've had an exhausting afternoon. How can I help? Do you think I'm soldier material or am I wasting my time? You tried to stop a mugger. That took courage. You've been in to see me twice. That took initiative. You organised your friends to solve a problem. That I couldn't do. None of you could. But you'd have gone on trying if one of your friends hadn't been hurt, right? So, you're not a quitter, either. You make everything sound so positive. Yeah. You should give it a go. So you're saying I could be a soldier? Trust your own instincts, Johnny. What is your gut feeling about it? I'm staging a wrestling match tomorrow. Yeah, of course you are. How'd you like to be my starter? I need a wrestling match, not a massacre. Why don't you just fight him? I'm the promoter. We've nothing to promote. Sorry, mate. You're going to have to just tell Harry it's all cancelled. But you paid me in advance. Just give it back to him. In sweets. And I've already eaten them all. Oh, well, thanks for sharing. What? Hey. I just wanted to see if you're OK. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Are you trying to decide about joining the army? What? Uh -huh. I saw the brochures. You shouldn't have been snooping. I was putting you washing away. You should have found a better hiding place, actually. That team building stuff this afternoon. Was that one of their practice tests? Have you said anything to Mike? He'd already gone. And I wanted to speak to you first. What, to put me off? To see whether you were serious. I think I am. Good for you. As long as you absolutely understand what you'd be letting yourself in for. Have you spoke to T about it? Not yet. I think you should. You know, it's not a career choice that you want to spring on your sister. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I've nearly finished, Harry. It's me. What have you nearly finished? Harry's costume for tomorrow. Should be a laugh if Tyler gets someone else to fight. Um, I've decided what I want to do when I finish school. Before you're going to college. <laughs> no, this is way better. I'm going to join the army. What? Why? Because it's a proper job that people respect. But if this is about getting in trouble earlier, that's a stupid reason for wanting to go to war. No, it's about being part of something that matters. What about me? I don't matter. Johnny, you're all I've got. I couldn't bear to lose you. Well, read this. It might help you understand. That's it? A brochure? We're not even going to talk about this? <sighs> can't believe you'd want to do something like that. 
I'd hate being ordered about all the time. Yeah, me too. But, you know, the free travel would be amazing. Who wants to travel to a war zone? They have fantastic career opportunities. You'd never have to worry about work. You'd have to worry about getting killed, though, wouldn't they? We have news just coming in that two soldiers have been seriously injured in the Helmand province of Afghanistan. The soldiers were on foot patrol when their convoy came under attack. We'll bring you more on this story when we have it. Are you really thinking of joining the army? Well, that didn't stay a secret for long. You trip over a mug and you think you can save the world. Look, at least I'm actually doing something about my future, rather than just mouthing off about it all the time. Yeah? Well, I've got a trial. And you? You haven't got the bottle. Sorry, Sue. I I'm not with you. He wants you to sign a consent form for what? Johnny. Mm. Johnny. You okay? What's wrong? You tell me everyone's nearly finished breakfast. <clears throat> Didn't get much sleep. Which explains why you were texting your social worker at four this morning. Sue called me. What have you done? What I said I was going to do. Johnny. You should have talked to me first. Why? I spent ages on the application, and I needed Sue to sign the consent form. Don't let him, Mike, please. Well, you can't stop me. This has to be discussed with everyone involved in your care. I don't think you've thought this through. I have. I haven't. And I would be advising Sue not to sign. Fine. I'll get Millie to speak for me. She thinks it's a good idea. The army will still be there in three months' time. What's the big rush? I'll tell you what the rush is. I've decided what I want to do in my life, and now I want to get on with it. Why didn't you tell me about it? Because he hadn't made up his mind. You obviously helped him there, telling him it was a good idea. Yeah, training for all sorts of careers. Great social life, roof over your head. Come on, it's a fantastic career for a care leaver. Unless you're the type who could get bullied, and he could. Or the one doing the bullying. They're pretty hot on that stuff nowadays. They'll soon sort him out. Come on, it could be just what Johnny needs. You know, give him some confidence, build his self-esteem. Completely destroy him. Look, I've known Johnny for years. I think that gives me the edge when it comes to deciding what he needs. And maybe only knowing him a few months gives me distance and clarity. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I think there's room for improvement. You still get to see him, loads. He gets seven weeks holiday a year. Tyler. Yeah, I can't believe he did it. I told you I was gonna. Don't you have to pass an interview? Mm-hmm. Which you can't go for without a signed consent form. You're not the only one that can get on the army website. I'll get it signed. Just need to work on Mike a bit first. Yeah, good luck with that. Especially if Mike's dead against it. Which he is. Why can't you get your parents to do it? Because we don't know where our dad is and we never see our mum. You should talk to your social worker. Get your side of the story across. Don't encourage him! How would you feel if it was your brother? As bad as you, but if it was something that he really wanted to do, I'd at least try and understand. How does a pre lunch contest suit you? You find someone, the perfect opponent. Who? Can't tell you. Might try and knob him in advance. What are you doing? You're making Harry scary. To give him an advantage.
What do you want? I don't understand why. Look, if I train for any one of these jobs, I can still get paid while I'm training. To get an apprenticeship? It's not just about the job. It's about being given some responsibility, being part of a team. But why the army? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Just try. Right. Okay, so, um, Bailey's got his football, yeah? Faith wants to be a physio. Frank's on his, what, second interview for a council job? What have I got? Nothing. Thanks. See, this isn't about you. It's about... I'm gonna be 16 soon, yeah? What if I don't get into college? I can't get a job. What if I get chucked out of here and end up living rough, like Frank? If I join up now, it means that I'm always gonna be part of something valuable that matters. That no one can take away from me. Let's get these consent forms signed. Keith always used to answer the door. What if I dashed over there now, knocked, and then ran away? If you see Mum, we know he's out. Yeah, and if he isn't, he might catch you. OK, he won't recognise me. Hang on. Just give it ten more minutes first. It's going to be weird seeing Mum after all this time. I feel a bit sick. Me too. moved out nearly a year ago. What? Where's she gone? They don't know. Sorry, guys. I didn't think I'd seen anything new. That was the last address we had for your mum. Shouldn't have gone without telling me. Well, you wouldn't have let us. You know that it's not safe with Keith. Yeah. That's how much I wanted this consent form signed. But Mum's gone. A social worker won't sign. Happy now? I'm not saying don't join. All I'm saying is... Not now. Mike, please. Right. Wrestling match. 12.15. Right here, guys. Ooh. <laughs> What's up, soldier boy? Mummy refused to sign your form. <laughs> Stop it! Get it out! Stop it! Get your sister to fight your battles now, yeah? Well, you did deserve it. Somebody clean this mess up. Bailey, come with me, please. Go away. Uh... A visitor downstairs. Don't want to see anyone. Social services are on the case. I'm trying to find where your mum's gone. What? So she can ignore us from somewhere else? So you and T won't be left wondering. No. Even though we never saw her, I always thought that I could if I wanted to. Now it feels like I've been dumped all over again. Oh, Johnny. I'm so sorry. You've had a right kick in the teeth. Why don't you come downstairs and see your friend, huh? Might make you feel a bit better. Not in the mood. Fair enough. More homemade brownies for me, then. Thank you. I made a mess. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Just um, a little thank you. Oh, yesterday. <laughs> Thanks. You met my sister then? Yeah, we've had a good chat. Mm. These are amazing. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, well, <laughs> did you get one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Stand aside, clear the area, please, clear the area. <laughs> <laughs> 
sorry. <laughs> What's going on? Don't worry, it's okay. I've got it under control. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dumping Ground's very own Grapple Fun! Now, on my right, it is Death Head Day! I was talking to the local army cadet force leader about you. Right. He said he'd be delighted if you'd like to do a stint with his unit. Aren't I too old? No. It would be a great way to get a taster of army life whilst you sort out your consent form. Thanks, Nikki. It's a pleasure. No kicking, punching, hitting, spitting, screaming, ear tugs or nose tweaks. Understand? Yep. Shake. We are seconds away! <laughs> and the fight begin! Round one! Come on, get in! <laughs> what? Hey, what? Oh! <laughs> they should have taken me wrestling. One! 